Yeah, Ultra 4 cars are a little bit different. They do all kinds of terrain. So we're out here in the trees in the mud this weekend. And you know, a couple weeks we'll be over in California on a groomed track with some motocross jumps. Yeah, so what makes an Ultra 4 car unique uh, than other road cars or other off-roading vehicles is there's just a wide variety of things that you can do with this. So, um, you know, I travel all over the country for the Ultra 4 circuit, but uh, so we do short course, um, we do rocks, we do mud and water, you know, that's what we're here doing today, but this course has just got a little bit of everything, but uh, th these cars are just so versatile, you know, we can change the suspension setup and, uh, and just do a wide variety of things. There's a lot of people that have started doing A-arm cars now, and a lot of it's real similar. I mean, everybody's got their own designer or whatever, but for the most part, you know, there's only so much you can do, so. But yeah, they all look different. Everybody does a different style here and there and got their look, and a lot of the people that know Ultra Ford can pick them out and say, oh, that's a Campbell car, or that's a, you know, Jimmy's car or something, you know, so. My name is Waylon Campbell. We're out here at the Badlands Motorsports Park in Indiana, and we're Ultra Ford racing. The only characteristic that makes my car different than most is the fact that it's an IFS car and you know the sport's starting to, to go that way and I'm running the straight axle car this weekend so I stepped backwards a little bit. But. Well the car that I'm driving this weekend, it's my brother's car. I borrowed it because we're right in the middle of building me a new one and it's been it's probably been three years since it's been ran, so we had to do a bunch of little tune-up stuff on it, and we changed shocks and tried to dial it up. This race isn't isn't real critical for A-arm stuff, so we should do pretty good, and these cars take a beating, and they really put the parts to the test, so we got a lot of companies trying to test parts on us, and we were running the Trail Graffler, and it's, I love it. It's a badass tire. Real smooth at high speeds, and when it comes down to crawling in the mud and stuff, it's got a good compound, so it's hard to beat. What I love about this tire, it hooks up great, it's predictable, I really like the tread pattern, but I can go out here and I can bomb these holes and these rocks and, and I don't have any flats. So it's just really a good all around uh, tire for what I'm doing. You know, all these different venues, this exact same tire on, it'll change, uh, but it's just tough. You know, it gets me to the finish line and that's what's so important. I think for me, the benefit of using a trail grappler back here in the mud and everything is the fact that it's still, you know, if you get up on a climb and on some rocks, muddy tires, it still wants to pull right up. You know, it, it goes wherever I put it. The Ultra 4 Series is absolutely unique to any other racing series that's out there. So, you know, here we are in Attica, Indiana today, and we're racing in the mud and the rocks, and then, you know, we've got the epic event called King of the Hammers, which is out in the middle of the desert, and so you've got desert running with whoops and rocks, and then we go to uh, Northern California, and we're a short course, and we're going to go to Fallon, Nevada, and race just a complete desert race. And, um, you know, we've raced Crane in Wisconsin and all these different things, so there's just, there's no other race series out there that is as broad a scope as what Ultra 4 is, uh, and it's just because these cars can do it all.